Hello, everyone. What's up? What's up? What's up? What is up, Sebastian? Hello, Arabella. Hello, Delilah. What is up? I have a lot of people joining right now. What's up, Casildo? Hello, Amelia. Welcome, 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 everyone. Hope everyone's having an amazing day. Today, the weather has been crazy. I'm not sure how it's been at your guys' house, but it's been not rainy, rainy, not rainy, rainy. Randomly, randomly, ton of rain, and then it'll stop. Welcome as you guys come in. Uh, today, we shouldn't need anything special for classes at all. We have our pillow, we have our pattern. We'll be good. We'll not need any chairs or ice cream or flying dragons or any of that kind of stuff. So let's talk to some people. Let's see how everyone's doing today. Delilah, how are you doing today? What did you say, Delilah? You're doing well? Middle? Uh, okay. Just an okay day? Just an okay day. What's stopping us from having a great day? What's stopping you from having a great day? Uh, Classwork, homework? <laughs> Classwork. Scratching the face of my dog. I don't know. Choco Choco Mojo. The only thing that stopped me from having a great day was when my dog scratched me. Oh, yeah. On the app. Oh, no. The dog scratched you. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. On your face? Did your dog scratch you on the face? Yep, on the face. That's not a bad deal at all. That makes you look like a gangster. That makes you look like I don't even want to take your lunch money anymore. Now you're just going to beat me up. You got like a dog like scratched jar on your face? That's like... Oh, no. Okay. Well, I can understand how that kind of puts a dampener on your day, but uh, hopefully it turns out okay. Hopefully it's all good. Let's go see how Casildo is doing. Casildo, how are you doing today, sir? How are you doing? Great. Great? What did you do today? Um, I did math. Math? What are you learning in math class right now? Um... I'm learning my, I'm learning how to, how to do my subtraction. Nice. What's 20 minus five? 20 minus five, 15. Yes, correct, 15. 10 points to Casildo, good job, dude. Well, good job with your math. Did you finish all your math today or do you still have some more stuff to do? Um, I finished it. Good job, man. Awesome, awesome. Okay, let's check on Arabella. Arabella, what have you been up to today? Nothing much? Same old, same old? Okay, fair enough. So, Jacory left really quick. Oh, no, there's back. He's on screen. He was going to mess with some stuff. Welcome, Jacory. Welcome, Amelia. It's 5.30 on the dot, so we should probably get started. I see Jacory has his hand up. What's up, Jacory? I was looking to show you that, because I knew this was a super cool hour for a few days ago that I found out I could do. Okay, cool. Well, we're going to play a game in the class, and you might be able to show me some stuff then, but I don't want to talk about too much about that yet. Yeah. I'll talk about more about that. I have a special game today. If we do well in class. So without further ado, let's have everyone pop up and get started. All righty, here we go. We're gonna start our student creed, student our black belt creed. And attention. Yes, sir. Black belt creed, ready, set, begin. As a dedicated student of martial arts, I shall live by the principles of the Black Belt Creed. Courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control, and the indomitable spirit. Skeet. Oh, very, very good. Let's start our warm-up today. We're gonna do 10 jumping jacks, nice and easy. Ready, set, begin. One, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir, eight, sir, nine, sir, 10, sir. Excellent. Now, next thing we're going to do today is a little bit different. Instead of doing normal body squats, I'm going to challenge you guys to do 
one of the warm-ups we do in our leadership class, in our Red Key class sometimes, we're going to try and do one leg body squats today. That's body squats on one leg. Now, you have a couple of different ways you can do it. If you want to hold your leg like we're doing our stretch, you can do that. If you just want to have your leg in the air, you can do that. Some of my students like to put it across like this. As long as you're on one leg, I don't mind. The big thing is that we don't cheat. Some of us do our one leg body squats and we used to do something like this, okay? That is not a good squat. I'm still looking to bend to get that L shape in our legs. So no matter how you do it, if you put it across, we're gonna go low all the way into our body squat and back up, a full squat. Now we're gonna try and knock out five on each side. So five on one side, five on the other side, that's 10 total. You can start with whatever leg you want. All right, so everyone get some space, get ready. On one leg, and one. One, sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. Awesome, best one, and five. Five, sir. Nice job, great job, Amelia. We're gonna change legs now, so over to the other leg. Again, you can put the leg however you want as long as your squats are good. Ready? And one. One, sir. Cool, a little wobbly up there. And two. Two, sir. You got the while up. Focus on that balance. You can do it, Casildo. And three. Three, sir. Nice and low. Sit down in that chair. Bend that knee. Four. Four, sir. It's okay to stumble a little bit of fashion. You got it, dude. Awesome. Best one. And five. Five, sir. Awesome. Relax. Very good. Give yourself two hand claps. I saw some people stumbling and stuff, but I don't think I saw anyone fall down all the way. I just don't think so. So good work. Now, speaking of falling down, we're going to go down to the ground. We're going to do some awesome push-ups today. Just regular, old, good push-ups. I'm going to challenge you guys to the best push-ups you've done ever today. I want to see those elbows bent all the way. Don't let your chest touch the ground. Almost touch the ground. And then pop back up. Ten good push-ups. Ready? And one. One, sir. And two. Two, sir. And three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. Five. Five, sir. Six. Six, sir. Seven. Seven, sir. Eight. Eight, sir. Nine. Nine, sir. And ten. Ten, sir. Great job, everybody. Now we're going to flip around. We're going to go to our crab walk position. We're going to do some crazy crabs today. So we're flipped over here. We're on our hands and feet. Remember, for our crazy crab, we're going to touch our shoulder and kick with our leg at the same time. If I use my right hand, I kick with my left leg. If I try to do both on the same side, I'm gonna fall down. So we're gonna do 10. Ready? Good crab position. And one. One, sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. Five. Five, sir. Good kicks. Six. Six, sir. Seven. Seven, sir. Eight. Eight, sir. Nine. Nine, sir, and 10. 10, sir, excellent. Sitting like a black belt now. Great work, everyone. We're gonna go to our stretching. Let's start with our feet together today, legs nice and straight. We're gonna reach down and try and touch our toes, reaching far as we can and holding. Deep breaths. You can touch your toes, that's awesome, of course. If not, just go as far as you can down. Excellent, now feet wide. You go feet wide, we're gonna take both hands and we're gonna go over to one leg. Good job, Casildo. Nice, Amelia. Make sure we're focusing on our stretch. Really try and stretch for that leg. And switch, other side.
Good job, Barabella. Good, good, good. Nice, Lila. Excellent. Now we're going to go down to the middle. Okay, one leg out, other leg over. We're going for a half pretzel twist. Switch other side. Both knees up, hold our legs. We're gonna ride back and forth at your own speed. Back and forth. Back and forth. Just like that. Nice job. Great work, Tristan. Good, Sebastian. Excellent. If you can, roll back and freeze. If not, just keep going back and forth. If you can, try to roll back and stay over here for a second. Breathe in this uncomfortable position. And time. Excellent. We're going to go ahead and go get our first water break today. When we come back, we're going to start on our word and our different martial arts moves. Water break. One, two, three. Water break. Go, go, go. Okay. Soto's back and ready. Something like an awesome black belt. Good job, Soto. Good job, Arabella. Nice, Dracori. Good job, Lila. Nice, Sebastian. Or no, Amelia and Tristan. Welcome back, Tristan. Moving lightning fast today. Very, very good. Okay. So now that we have everybody back, our word today is intensity. And we've talked about intensity recently. Intensity, you know, is move, moving full strength, full speed, getting a really strong effort, everything into what we do. So today what we're going to do is we're going to work on some intense movements, some movements that if you're not uh, well conditioned, these movements are going to make you tired. These movements are going to make you weak. You're going to be <laughs> super out of breath. But these are very important movements. They're going to help you when we come back and we're able to roll live. We're able to spar when we have to defend ourselves. These are very powerful movements. And there are some of our grappling movements that we have to move that are going to be intense. And some of these you might have done before, but some of these you might not have done before. And I think the one I start with, not many of you would have done. For this, you will not need your pillow. So for this one, you don't need your pillow yet. You can set it off to the side. So the first grappling drill we're going to do today, the first jiu-jitsu drill we're going to do is called the sit-out. The sit-out. Raise your hand if you've heard of a sit-out before. Does anyone know what a sit-out is? Casildo has his hand raised. Okay, so not really anyone too much. The sit-out is a great move that we can use to get someone off of us when we're kind of in a bear crawl position and someone's on top of us on our back, maybe getting ready to choke us out or something like that. This is an escape move that we do. And it's very, very easy. It's very, very simple. So what I'm gonna do, everyone's watch me first and then we'll draw it. I'm gonna start here on my hands and feet, like I'm doing the bear crawl. When I do my sit out, I'm gonna pick one hand up. And much like with our crazy crab we did during our warm up, whichever arm I use, I'm gonna use the other side leg. So if I use my right hand over here, then I'm gonna use my leg on the other side, my left leg. So when I'm on all fours, I pick my right hand up and I'm gonna use my left leg, I'm gonna sit out or sit through. So kind of like I'm sitting sideways watching TV in this position here, but not quite that relaxed. I actually don't wanna sit on the ground. I wanna stay on my hand over here and on my foot over here. So when I sit out, 
I'm hovering like this. My foot can touch the ground, that's okay, but I don't want my hip to touch the ground. If my hip touches the ground, now they push me, and I'm gonna fall down, I'm not very fast. But if I'm up, I'm stronger. So all the sit-out drill is, is doing that back and forth, side to side. So when I do the full drill, it looks like this. I'm on all fours, I sit out, I go back, I go to the other side, sit out, go back, other side, sit out. You see I'm very light, it's very almost flowy, and springy. But if our muscles aren't developed to do that, that drill is gonna be very tough for us and our shoulders are gonna get tired mainly. This drill works a lot on your shoulders, it also works a lot on your breathing. So let's break down the sit out. Three things I'm looking for. First thing on our sit out is we turn our body. So I start facing the ground, but when I'm done with the sit out, I'm not facing the ground, I'm not doing this. My body is turned sideways. Now I'm looking at the wall. So number one detail, turn your body. It's like Madagascar, when that monkey says, you must shake your body. We gotta turn our body, okay? Who's seen Madagascar? Anybody see that movie before? No? Okay, it's been out, it's a kind of old movie now. Number one, I turn to the side. Number two, I'm on my hand and foot. You wanna be hovering. I got one foot back there, one hand on the ground. That's what's keeping me up. So number one, turn your body. Number two, you're on your hand and foot. Number three, reset. We go one side, come back to our bear crawl, go the other side. We need to work both sides. Does anyone have any questions? Does anybody need to see it again? Okay, I have a little bit of a hand raise there, so I'll go nice and slow. I'll try and go sideways. So this, I'll do a couple times this way, and I'll do a couple times the other way so you can see a different angle. So, bear crawl, hand up, leg through. I put my hand back down, leg comes back. Other hand up, leg through. Hand back, leg back. So the hand always moves in the leg. Same thing from a side view. I pick my hand up, leg through. Hand back, leg back. Other hand up, leg through. Hand back, leg back. So that is our sit out drill. And we're gonna continuously do that for one minute. We're gonna try and do as many as we can without stopping for one minute. So go ahead, everyone, good bear crawl position. Get ready, get ready. Make sure you have enough space, don't bump into anything. All right, I see Tristan's ready, Emilio's ready, Sebastian's ready, okay, everybody's ready. One minute on the clock, on your mark. Get set, go. Go, 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 we're sitting out and through. Yep, just like that, Delilah, awesome. Great, make sure you turn the body all the way to the side. Good, Sebastian, nice. Excellent. Good, Arabella, yep, that's it right there. Awesome. Okay, let's see it. Good, looks like Amelia's got it. Nice, Amelia, excellent. I'm trying to see everybody's cam. Okay, Ja'Cory, we gotta put the leg across. So we don't, put the, we don't put the right leg out to the right. We're gonna put the right leg out to the left. The leg needs to go across your body, across. So right now, let me show you. If I keep going, if I keep going, Ja'Cory, when we do it right now, you're trying to put your same side leg out like this. You're putting your leg out to the same side. The leg's not supposed to go to the same side, it's supposed to go to the other side. So don't put it out here. You want your leg to go across to the other side. You're sitting down. Good, short time, 15 seconds left, 15 seconds. Keep going, push hard, push hard. Intensity is the word today, everybody. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Who's being intense? Who's going 90% who's going 100%? Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, Sebastian, one time. Everyone relax, great job, Casildo. Killing it, great work, great work, great work. I want everyone to first off, give yourself two hand claps. Clap, clap. All right, we're gonna take a quick, break we're gonna breathe really quick because we're gonna do that for one more round but before we go i'm just gonna focus on one thing we can do better one thing and that's where we put our leg when i do my sit out i want the leg to go out to my side so imagine that i'm a letter t right now if i'm facing this way i want my leg to go perfectly 90 degrees some of us have done uh geometry you know what that means some of us haven't but we're gonna go out to the side over here so what i'm seeing from some of us some of us, we're kind of just crisscrossing our legs in the back and our leg is very far back, kind of like this. You wanna see that? That's too far this way. So if I was on a clock, imagine you're on a clock and you're looking at 12 o'clock, I want my leg to go across the three o'clock or nine o'clock. 
I don't want my leg back at five or seven o'clock. So when I turn, I'm not putting my foot back here. I'm bringing my leg up to three o'clock. Give me a thumbs up if you understand, if that makes sense. I know it's kind of complicated. Got a thumb up from Sebastian, middle kind of medium thumb from Delilah. Okay, so Delilah, what I mean is, I don't want my leg far back pointing towards my legs. I also don't want my leg way up here pointing towards my head. I want my leg pointing to the side. I want to sit to the side. And this is very, very important because if I try to have my leg back here and I'm still up and I'm not sitting down, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Look how awkward this is. Look how twisted my legs up are. I'm not going to have a good base. They're going to push me back down. So I need to have this leg out. I need to have a wide base, just like I have a wide stance when I'm standing up so I have good balance. But that's the only thing we want us to focus on. Everything else is looking very, very good. So we're going to go for one more minute and then we're going to change drills and go to a different drill. So everyone, get back to your bear crawl position. We're going for one more minute. Remember, intensity is the name of the game today. Who's going to be sweating by the end of class? My student of the day today. It's going to be the student I see pushing themselves the hardest. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Worry about you. Are you doing the hardest that you can do? Are you going as fast as you can, as strong as you can, giving it your very best? Even when we're not here at the academy, we're at the house. Ready. Set. Go. Sit down. Sit down. Let's go, 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 go. Nice, Sebastian started strong, you got it. Go, 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 nice. Make sure you pick that hand all the way up. You wanna get that hand off the mat. Bring it up to your head like you're doing ready stance. Get that hand off the mat. That hand's a liability, we don't want it there. Nice, just exactly like that, so you pick that hand up. Good, good, good. Sit into the side, much better, Ja'Cory. We're moving our leg to the correct way now. Nice, great job, Amelia, looking very good, turning the body over. Nice, Arabelle, make sure we push our leg through. One leg's not moving. We don't move both legs. Only one leg moves at a time. One leg sits across, other leg stays where it is. So you gotta sit down, sideways from watching TV. Nice, Delilah, great work. Good job, Casildo. That's looking much better. A lot of improvement already. Over halfway done. 20 seconds to go, 20 seconds. Let's go push, push, push. Don't slow down on me, Sebastian. Don't fall down. We're almost at the end. You can see the finish line. Palms are sweaty, mom spaghetti. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Relax, everyone. Relax. Great work. That sit out is a great move we can use when we're rolling live. When someone sprawls on us and stops our double leg and they're draped over our back with a cape, we can do the sit out and knock them off. Think about it. If we're on our back, let me move the camera down or actually come up to the camera. Think about it. If we're kind of on our back here, and we're on all fours, our back's kind of horizontal, it's like a table. And they sprawl on us, boom, they're sitting on our back. But if we sit out and we turn our body to the side, now what are they on? They're on nothing, they're gonna fall through, right? If I go the other way, you're gonna see easier. If I sit out to the side, and my back's longer here, and my back is over here, now what are they leaning on? They're leaning like, what, on the side of my body, on my shoulder? That's not a big enough thing for them to lean on, they're gonna fall off. And now once they fall down and they face plant, that's when I get on top of them. So it's a very, very effective move. This is a move that a lot of Olympic level wrestlers, a lot of collegiate level wrestlers, really high level grapplers, martial artists, they use this to sit out. Speaking of high level grappling, our next move that we're also gonna do is another very skillful move. And it's something that you guys might think is super simple, but it is the number one ingredient. It's something that you might not think about. It's like the flour. Everyone wants to, when they bake a cake, focus on the chocolate, and the sugar and all the fancy ingredients. No one ever thinks about the flour, right? To have a good cake, you gotta have good flour. I don't know if you guys know this, but Coach Colton loves to cook. And martial arts are the same way. You might get focused on all the fancy techniques, but if you wanna be a good martial artist, you gotta have good basics. And the good basic move for all of our escapes is our umpa, our bridge. A move that many of us know. Who knows the umpa? Who knows the bridge already? Great, everyone's hand should be up for this one. Good, good, good. You might know it by a different name. If you haven't seen it in a while, or maybe you forgot, we're going to talk about the umpa real quick. I'm gonna show it to you. Simple. For the umpa, we're gonna be laying on our backs, kind of in our sit-up position here, with our knees up, just like this, okay? So I'm on my back, my knees are up. Imagine a bully's on top of me. They're sitting on top of me. Maybe they're in side control. If I try to push them with my arms, I'm gonna be struggling. My arms may not be strong enough, especially if it's a really big guy. 
really big enemy. If I try to push them, they're going to be so heavy. I want to use my big leg muscles. I want to use my ab muscles, my core muscles, my hips. So I'm not going to push them with my arms. I'm going to push them with my hips. So I have my feet loaded close to my bottom. My feet aren't way out here. My feet are close, close, close. That way I can use my feet on the ground and push my hips high, high, high. If my feet are far, when I try to push my hips up, they're not going to go that high. So raise your hips high, move those feet close to your bottom. When I do my umpa, the only things on the ground, there's three things on the ground, my two feet and one shoulder. So I'm going to either umpa this way and get on this shoulder. I'm going to umpa the other way and get on the other shoulder. And of course, when I bump my hips high, now it kind of turns the bully into like a cowboy or a cowgirl, right? We're going to be like the bull or the bronco that's kind of uh, pushing them off. So bumping our hips. Now, a lot of people, they don't know the move. They kind of just raise up slow. This is not a slow move. This is an intense move, an explosive move. So when I go to my oompa, I don't want to see any old people oompas where we're uh, going super slow. I want it to be like the flash. We're here one second, and now we're here the next second. We go very fast. And now we come back down. Then we go the other way. We're here, and that's going to teleport. I'm teleporting. I'm going as fast as I can. The other way. Boom. My hips are up. Now I'm back down. Now the other way. Boom. Okay? You want to be like pushing yourself like a pogo stick off the ground. And we're going to do 10 umpas. One way, then the other way. So one. Boom. One, sir. Two. Boom. The other way. Two, sir. And I want to push those hips as fast as I can. Bump that enemy off. Imagine you have this really big person on top of you. You're trying to get off. Oh, this guy froze for a second. One second here. All right, sorry about that, guys. It's like I froze for a second, but I'm back on here. All right, so everyone, we're gonna go ahead and get ready. Everyone laying on their backs, laying on their backs. Get ready, get ready, get ready. We're gonna do 10 umpas, 10 umpas. Ready, set, one. One, sir. And we sat back down. We're up there for a split second. We pop up and we come back down. And two, two, sir. Very good. Three, three, sir. Four, four, sir. Five, five, sir. Six, six, sir. Seven, seven, sir. Eight, eight, sir. Nine, nine, sir. Last and best one. Hips high, hips high. And 10, 10, sir. Great, now I can see everyone back on my big screen. Perfect, all right. I'm glad I saw everyone doing a great job. I was thinking I couldn't see you guys. You guys kind of got away with some cheating. One thing I did see though, um, when we're doing this, you know, I know we're not training with a partner right now, but we always imagine, we try to always imagine a realistic situation. So even though we're bumping our hips in the air right now, imagine there's that bad guy on top of you. So if a bad guy was on top of you, you wouldn't just have your arms out like this. You want to just have your hands by your side. Who can raise your hand and tell me, what do we normally do with our hands when we're on bottom in a bad position? We call it what? What kind of arms? What do we call it? Anybody know what we call it? I see Amelia has a hand up. Amelia, what is that normally called? It's called T-Rex. 
Very good. Yeah, we call it T-Rex arms because the closer our arms are in, the safer and stronger our arms are. If our arms are way out, you know, now they might trap an arm, they might try to twist an arm. Even a bully that doesn't know submissions, you know, they might still try to hurt us some kind of way. They might not know what they're doing, but you know, if they start grabbing your fingers and bending them back or twisting your arm or something crazy, it's gonna hurt. All right, even if they don't know a Kimura or an Americana or an arm bar, doesn't mean they can't try to hurt us some kind of way. So very good job on our intense explosive moments. I told you guys that a special game plan today. We have not played this game yet in this class as far as I can tell. So we're gonna play a game and this is gonna require some strategy and some thinking today. And before I talk about the game, this game, hmm, I thought about playing this game. And the coaches were talking this morning and we we're pitching game ideas. As I said, I told the coaches, does anyone have any good idea for games? Because I'm tired of playing hangman and line by line all the time. I want some new fresh games that we can play. And they pitched this game. And I want to let you guys know, it's a very fun game. We played with some other classes earlier today. But the number one rule is to follow all of your house rules. So if you know your mom and dad has a certain rule about something, do not break any of those rules to win the game. That said, here's our game today. Our game is scavenger hunt. The name of the game is scavenger hunt. I'm going to tell you guys an item. It could be a pencil. It could be a goldfish. Don't want to be a goldfish. But I'm going to tell you guys something, and your job is to go find it faster than anyone else can from your house. So if I told you to find a pencil, you got to get to a pencil somewhere, somewhere, somehow, and get back. The first person to come back and show me a pencil on the camera gets a point. Now, obviously, I will not be picking anything dangerous. I do not want you running through the house with things that are sharp or heavy or stuff like that. So we have to kind of think about where things are in our house and how we can get there super duper fast. Does anyone have any questions about the game before we get started? Okay, any hands? I have a hand from Jacory, and I have a hand from Sebastian. Jacory, your hand was up first. What's your question, sir? I was going to ask if, ask if it's okay if either mom, if I ask if mom and dad, if is it, if it's okay for me to do a scavenger hunt. You want to go ask your mom and dad if it's okay for you to play size ground? You can go ahead and go ask. Yes, sir. If you think you might get in trouble, I don't want you in trouble. Go ahead and go ask. That's a smart decision. Yeah. Let's go ahead and go over to Sebastian. Sebastian had a question as well. Here you are. Sir. Yes, sir. What's your question? So what if we don't have the item that you asked for? I'm going to try and pick an item that everyone has. I'm not going to try to ask for anything super specific. If you happen to not have that item, it's okay. All right. Jacory did. Your parents give you the okay. Thumbs up if you can play. Thumbs down if you can't play. Okay. Great, great, great. All right. Then everyone start fair and square. Something like a black belt. Something like a black belt. All right. So as soon as I see the item, I'm not going to say go. As soon as I see the item, you can pop up and go find it. All right. First item. First item I want you to find. Hmm. I want you guys to go find a ball, any type of ball, baseball, basketball, go, 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 go. Oh, and I got the first one. Oh, Amelia was second. Jacory, Amelia, Casildo, Delilah, first, second, third, fourth. Let's see who comes in next. I'm waiting on a couple of students. All right, Sebastian in sixth. Tristan in seventh. <laughs> Arabella's trying. She knows a ball's hidden somewhere, it looks like. She's moving furniture. Hey, Arabella's got it. Very good, very good. Okay, okay, good deal, good deal. All right, next item. Make sure you guys put all this stuff away when we're done, right? Don't leave a big mess, don't leave a big mess. Next item we're going to do, we're going to a water bottle or cup. Water bottle or cup. It can be empty, it's not be full. I got Amelia first, Casoldo second. Sebastian third, Delilah fourth, Jacory fifth, Arabella sixth, or you not Tristan? And Tristan seventh, good job, good job, good job. Okay, next item, next item. Show me a piece of paper, any type of paper. Go, 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 copy paper, construction paper. It could even be toilet paper. Jacory number one, Arabella number two. Delilah, number three. Amelia, number four. Tristan, five. Casildo, it might have been five, actually. I think I saw you late. 
sixth, and then Sebastian coming in seventh. Good job. Okay, okay. All right, be careful with your water bottle. Don't spill anything. All right, very good. I'm going to have to turn up the heat. I'm going to have to think of something crazier. Oh, I know what I'll do. Next item is going to be your toothbrush. Your toothbrush. Go, 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 go. Toothbrush, toothbrush, toothbrush. Who's going? Who's going? Who's going? Who's going to be back first? I got Amelia on first. Delilah second. Casoto third. Jacory fifth. Tristan sixth. Waiting on Arabella and Sebastian. Got two left. Who can find their toothbrush first? On this episode of Scavenger Hunt, who's coming in next with their toothbrush? We got Sebastian next. Very good, very good. I see shadows moving. Oh, that's not Arabella. Okay. Good deal. There she is. Nice job. Okay, next item, we're gonna go, let's do two more, let's do two more. What else can we do? Mm. <laughs> okay, the next item we're going to do, bring me your pair of shoes, pair of shoes, any pair of shoes. Go, 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 go. Arabella first, Tristan second, Amelia third. Sebastian fourth, I see ya. Jacory fifth. Delilah sixth. Casado seventh, I think. Okay, good job. Sometimes it's hard, it's hard. You guys come back so fast. I'm trying to see who's coming back first. I'm sorry if I got anything wrong. I'm just doing it as I see it. All right, this is the last round. This one's for all the marbles. Hmm, the last thing I want you guys to find. The last thing, let's see here. Let me think. It's a good thing we can use. Bring me your backpack, book bag, whatever you carry your stuff to school in. Go, 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 backpack, book bag, any kind of bag. If you don't have one of those, a gym bag will work too. Arabella's on first. Delilah second, Casildo third. Tristan fourth. Jacory fifth. Amelia sixth and Sebastian seventh. Okay, great job, guys. Hope that I got the blood pumping. You're running around the house a little bit. Great exercise. Good job today. Everyone, very explosive, very intense. Don't forget, first thing, of course, we're going to put all those things back where they belong. Everyone is responsible for cleaning up their stuff. Make sure you're not leaving messes. We're all elite students. We know what should go where in our house. We know where stuff goes, where it doesn't belong. But next up, the next announcement. Don't forget, starting next week, we will have classes back at the academy. So we'll have Zoom classes also. But if you want to come back to class, you need to be bringing a couple things with you. Number one, you need to be bringing a mask, either a one-time use or reusable mask to wear. If you have done the artsy thing and made masks at home, make sure whatever mask you're using is not hard to breathe through. Obviously, if it's some kind of leather mask or something and we're working out, it's going to be hard to breathe through that. You're going to be kind of gasping for air. So... You know, the normal masks, they're paper, they're cloth, they're very thin, they're breathable. You want something you can breathe in. Number two, you know, we'll have the water fountain there, but I encourage you guys to bring a water bottle. That's another way that germs get spread. If you bring a water bottle, you won't have to use the water fountain. And if you have gloves, which many of you do, many of our elite students, you get gloves right when you moved up to elite. Make sure you bring your boxing gloves or MMA gloves. You'll need those things for classes next week. I sent a link to your families for them to save your two class times. If you show up and you're not signed up, you will not be able to do the class because many of the classes are filling up. You want to make sure that you're on the list because if you're not on the list, you will not be able to do the class. And again, that's just, again, another way that we're making sure that germs don't spread if anyone to have any, anything on top of cleaning everything and taking everyone's temperature and all that other stuff we're doing. So don't forget about that. And of course, we are still having Zoom classes, online classes next week also. We are doing that still. Does anyone have any questions about anything? Any questions at all? Looking around, I see Jacory has a question. Jacory, what's your question, sir? You said I'm, I'm, I get to show you what I get to show you. I thought it was cool. I, I did say that. I did say that last class, and we did, never did it. All right, 30 seconds. Go. Show me something. 30. Go, 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 go. What do you want to show me? Wait, oh, yeah. This. That was that. This one's like 
You know, I do have a stabilized in there as I'm doing. Oh, so like a baseball balloon. Baseball bat balloon. That is very cool. Where'd you get that? My mom from baseball. This is the baseball bat baseball baseball that I love. My hand gets so hard of of that in there. Like, I hit it so hard. I think it's, it's all the way in there. Awesome. And I saw some other students head out. Raise your hand if you had something you wanted to show to the class. Who else has something they wanted to show? I had a hand from Casoto. Casoto, what do you have to show today, sir? Oh, what is that? What is that? He's moving so fast. Oh, you got nunchucks. Are those real wooden nunchucks? No. <laughs> okay, nice. Well, he's got some moves. Be careful with that. Don't break anything. But those are very cool. They look good. They look like you could, they look real. You can definitely like, have some legit. Like those, you know, gotcha. Yeah, you could definitely practice some legit moves with that for sure. Who else has something that they want to show? Anyone have anything? Okay, looking around. All right. Well, Yay. great job today, everyone. Phenomenal class. Um, I thought everyone did an awesome job. Let's go ahead and do a drum roll for my student of the day. Drum roll. And time, my student of the day. The student's been doing an awesome job. I don't know if it's this class, but I feel like everyone in this class has earned a million student of the days. But I thank you guys so much for all the work you've been doing. I see a lot of hard work in this class. Not many people getting distracted. I'm going to give my student of the day today to Jacory Taylor. Jacory, good job, sir. You are my student of the day. Thank you for staying focused. I know we've had a hard time staying focused a little bit, getting distracted because you're in a room with all your toys, but you did a very good job today. So I'm gonna give you my student of the day. Everyone, continue the awesome work and I'll see you either in Zoom or in back in the academy very, very soon. Everyone stand up. Good job today, Sebastian, Casilda, Lila, Arabella, Amelia, Jacory, Tristan, congrats everyone. Feet together, hands by our side. And bow, close. All right, everyone, make sure you put that stuff up. Have an amazing day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.